I'll see you, Mark. Nice knowing you. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> oh, what a breakfast. Dari Bidi, Dari Bidi. Well, we've got all the idli and vade that we're going to be tasting here at Brahmin's Coffee Bar. I'm going to place that idli in your mouth. And Mark, don't move your lips. Don't move your teeth. I want you to place it in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> so when you step into Vidyarthi Bhavan, you will feel like you've stepped back in time. Another sprinkle of ghee goes on. Oh, a little dollop of butter goes on. It's like the final blessing from the dosa maker. <laughs> yes. Now you can leave. Oh, 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 oh the first bite. <laughs> That is unbelievably crispy in your fingers. And Kripal, probably the first bite, no chutney, right? No Just chutney. Just tastes the pure, the As pureness is. of it. Okay. Mm. Namaskara, folks. Welcome to another very special episode of Gourmet on the Road with our very special guest, Mark Weens. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, how are you doing? Yeah, great. It's a beautiful day in Bengaluru. It's a beautiful day in Bengaluru. Today, Mark, I thought we'll do something that we in Bengaluru call Tiffin, which is basically our morning breakfast. All right. I know you wanted to try the Vidyarthi Bhavan Dose. Yes. And we will certainly get to that. But before the Dose at Vidyarthi Bhavan in Baswanaguri, we're going to be visiting a place called Brahmin's Coffee Bar. Nice. Now, this is an eatery that goes back to 1965. All right. And the one thing that they're famous for, in addition to the coffee, which is of course in the name, is also their idli. Yes. And that's what we're going to taste today. Yes, can't wait to try it. Fantastic. So today, if you're in this part of the city, you want to have your morning tiffin, well, all roads lead to Brahmin's yes. Coffee Bar. And you got to do the idli, the vade, and you can't leave without tasting their coffee. Their bisi coffee. Awesome. Bisi means hot in Kannada. Oh, okay, okay. Bisi. Nice, okay, bisi, bisi coffee. That's right. You see people from all walks of life here, and it's kind of cafeteria style where you pay at the front. But we're getting ready to pay, order Namaskar, at the front, sir. pay, and Chalai then you go collect your food. And there's just kind of a central standing area, no seats, just standing. People huddled around, just standing. I love it here. Arad plate idli, what I could eat? Bari double idli. Mate inondu arad plate kuda single idli, single vade. Mate amel inondu aidi coffee, aidi ar coffee agli. So the food that we've ordered is good enough to feed five people, Mark. Okay, great. And uh, we've spent uh, less than five dollars. Can you see the frothiness of that? Batter? Yes, it's super fluffy. And you will see why when you actually place that idli in your mouth. Oh man. Now comes a fresh batch. I'll see you, Mark. Nice to you. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> oh, what a breakfast. Give me some <laughs> way. Dari bidi, dari bidi. Well, we've got all the idli and vade that we're going to be tasting here at Brahmin's Coffee Bar. They have the system down to a science. You pay, the idlis are actually, they fly like from the batter to the steaming station to your plate. They use so much chutney here that he doesn't even use a spoon. He uses a bucket. They don't skimp on the chutney here. It's just like a whole pour it's of like chutney. It's like a river of chutney. Yes, it's like a soup almost. So idli is like the island and it is surrounded in a sea of the chutney. Yes. It's an island, huh? Idli Island. So we gotta start with that Idli. Ah. Look at how fluffy it is. Idli, chutney. I'm gonna place that Idli in your mouth and Mark, don't move your lips. Don't move <laughs> your teeth. I want you to place it in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> That's it. You don't need teeth to eat this Idli. You place that idli with a chutney in your mouth and the warmth of your mouth <laughs> will help wash that idli. You were not joking. Yeah. 
it just totally, like all you do is bite and swallow. No chewing required. It's the softest idli. Oh, and that, that flavor is so balanced. Just a hint of sourness, perfect saltiness, the foaminess of it. That's right. The sponginess of that idli is incredible. Coriander studded or mint studded coconut chutney. With a bit of the green chili heat. Oh, it's so good. The Three. one thing you gotta be careful though with this idli, if you allow it to be in that chutney for too long, that idli will slowly disintegrate. Away. Yes, it's so soft. It is as fragile as that, Ma. <laughs> Yes. This is the most fragile idli that you would have it ever is. tasted. It must be treated with, yeah. with respect and care. Mm. Oh man, that's good. Mm. Three generations and that recipe has just held the test of time. The crowd is just there to prove how tasty it is. They only do four dishes. So they do the idli, the vade, the kesri bath and the khara bath. They're only four dishes. And so they've been good. doing this since 1965. Before we move on to the wade or the vada, should what? we refill? Yes, let's do that. They have chutney refill stations. If things could not get better, literally ladles it on. Thank That's you. That's so good. He smiles at you, but <laughs> it's a very calculated smile. Because if he smiles too much, he'll have to pour too much chutney. I mean, having oh, said that, the chenna That chutney, you could just drink it, it's so good, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. The recipe of this chutney comes from the grandmother. When they began this, till the point that she was around, till about five years ago, she would get up in the morning at three o'clock and make the chutney. Wow. In their home, every single day. Except Amazing. for a Sunday when they are closed. That's Amazing. the commitment of the Adiga family to Brahmin's Coffee Bar. Awesome. Let's move on to the vada. The vada? So the vada is usually the uttana bele, which is the urad dal. Okay, okay, urad dal. Now everybody will not tell you the secret proportion of what goes in because everyone has something to it. But there's some places that they add a bit of the rice flour etc. To give it that gari gari, they say the crispness. Okay. But the crispness comes from double frying it. Ah. So they fry it once, they take it out okay. and then they fry it again. And you can see how perfectly golden brown it is. You can see it's studded with some spices as well. You will break a piece of this. Oh, it's so crispy. Oh, look at that inside. Some curry leaves maybe? That's right. There could be some curry leaves in it, some chilies in it. And then just, you wanna... Flakes of coconut. Oh, okay. Flakes of coconut too. Oh, oh. no. Not that first, ma. No? First the vade by itself. <laughs> okay. Made a mistake. <laughs> I made a chutney mistake. Because when you, when you have that vade by itself, that's when you will appreciate it for what it is. You will taste that crisp, oh, yeah. crunchy outside <laughs> and the near cloud-like Airy texture inside. Okay, my next bite will be plain. Next bite my will next be bite there. will be plain. Mm. Oh man. Okay. That vada mm. is one of the best I've had. It is so puffy and cloudy and so crispy on the outside. Yeah. So fragrant. Studded with spices and curry leaves and the actual chunks of coconut meat. Oh, it's delicious. On its own? On its own. Oh, it's so soft. It just melts in your mouth. Somewhat like the idli, yet crunchy. Crunchy. Mm -hmm. And also if you notice, there's a base layer in terms of the flavor. Very persistent flavor. That is the flavor of the hing. Oh yeah. So okay. what's important in a vade, because there's not too much that goes into it to flavor it. Like a chutney has so many things, but the vade doesn't have too many things. It's the flavor of the roasted fried gram. Uh. And then it's the hingu. So the quality of the asafoetida, the hingu is very important. And that's what you taste in a good vade. And the hing is a gum resin, right? That's right. That, so it kind of like is an enhancer? Two things. One is it gives you that flavor. Okay. Secondly, the lentils have a lot of gas. So the yeah. hing basically helps negate that effect. Nice, okay. It's kind of balancing each other out. Yeah, okay. so it's lending flavor and also plays a very important role when you consume lentils. Okay. So that's why if you notice in South Indian cooking, all dishes that have lentils will always have hing oh, as a okay. potato. Okay. So in our cooking here in this part mm -hmm. of the world, it's not just about flavor, but it's also about what ingredients should come together to balance, to create that harmony. Definitely, definitely. You know? Oh man, what a sensational breakfast. We're off to an incredible start in Bengaluru. Mm. This is something you have to eat when you're here. Generations proven, absolutely incredible. Oh, mm. so good, so good. 
Super. And I think it's perfect for breakfast too because it's mild, mild and spicy, warm and comforting, just flavorful. It's got everything that you need to start your day. Yeah. It's I, got nourishment and it's got loads of flavor. Just I agree. Fix you up, right? I agree. Yes, definitely. So you know what's also interesting here, Gausuba Adiga, she's a third generation. She was pursuing a career in IT. IT. I was oh. an HR in IBM. Wow. <laughs> okay. And now she's joined her father to take forward the family's mm. legacy. So what's very, very interesting cool. in places like these, Mark, yeah. is the commitment of the family to stay true mm. to a certain philosophy over decades uh -huh. and also the manner in which the generation of today, yeah. who have so many opportunities outside, are still choosing to return home and yeah. carry things forward. I yeah, think that's what cool. makes it special. Very cool. I want to wipe it clean. Canada coffee. You are getting sakre bela coffee only. Man, get sakre kami. But the salpa, nam do salpa strong irbe kala. Onchur. A good coffee should always be slightly bitter. Yeah. Stronger, like stronger. Strong. Yeah. That's what I have asked him for. Okay. Fantastic. Do you eat here every day? Every day. No time. Morning and evening. Nice. For 37 years. 37 years. Yes. That's how he's healthy. Yeah. I am 62 years old, but I am healthy. 62 yes. years old. Oh, you fantastic. look fantastic. Hey, nice to meet you. Basically, it's the froth. It conveys the expression of the coffee onto your palate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's got that natural cappuccino foam, yeah. but just from that elevation pour, and he's so skillful the way he makes it. Yeah. Mixing the black coffee with the milk, pouring it, and just those ratios. He knows the ratios. Perfect. All right. right. Cheers, Mark. Cheers. Cheers to our first South Indian filter coffee. Filter coffee, South India, Bengaluru. Uh -huh. Fantastic. You taste the sweetness of the milk and the coffee just shines coming through, the dark roast coffee. That's right, that's the Fantastic. natural sweetness of the milk. Fantastic. The natural sugars. And also what's important here is the quality of coffee. Mm. So there's a combination of plantation A and B that goes into their mm. blend here. Mm. And they're very particular about where they source their coffee. Great, great. So that plays a great role in the consistency of the coffee. Mm. Out here in Bengaluru, for us, that morning cup of coffee is very important. Okay. If we don't have it right, it can really upset our day. <laughs> I agree. I agree. So here in Bengaluru, would coffee be the choice? Mostly coffee. Coffee is Mostly the choice. Mostly coffee. You know when somebody is from Bengaluru, when they want their coffee. Nice. And nice. also the old timers would say kapi. Mm. So that's what we call okay. it. Okay. Well, as a coffee lover, I am right at home here in Bengaluru. Oh, so yes. So Mark, we are at uh, the very famous Vidyarthi Bhavan. We are here in Baswanagudi. There's a flower market here. And right behind there is an eatery that opened first in 1943. Nice. It's called Vidyarthi nice. Bhavan because originally it catered to students in this area. There are many ah. colleges around here. Okay. So Vidyarthi, the word in Kannada means student. Oh, okay. So it's a okay. place where students would come and eat. Okay. But of course today, the world comes and eats at Definitely. Vidyarthi Bhavan. Definitely. Legendary restaurant. And this was a must-do on Mark's list. Oh, yeah. For the dose. That, I can't wait to see that arm stack. This Hi. is Mr. Oh. Arun Adiga. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you very nice much. Nice to meet you. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Mark Weens. Thank Hi, you very Mark. much. My pleasure and uh, Thank you. to meet you here. Thank you very much. Mark, Happy to be here. experience in Bangalore? Very good. Very good. Yes. Very, nice. very good. So when you step into Vidyarthi Bhavan, you will feel like you've stepped back in time. Yes. It's like time has stood still once you cross this doorway. Yes. yes. And that's the feeling, that's the sense of nostalgia that brings people back to Vidyarthi Bhavan over and nice. over again. Yes.
yeah. Yeah, it's really, really a beautiful environment here. Nothing has changed since 1943. I love the checkered tiles, just always buzzing, always energetic here. And if you look at the walls here, if you look at all the, the pictures here, these are all the luminaries of Karnataka. Be it poetry, be it business, be it some of the people who fought for freedom. We'll hair net up to go in the kitchen to immediately see what they're cooking. I don't know if you can see, but you can see somewhere that the color of the dosa slowly takes shape. So that color is also a combination of different rice that goes in. Okay. Including some boiled rice. So now you'll see the browning even on the underside. Yeah, but he only keeps it on the underside just for a few seconds That's before right. flipping it back over, back onto the crunchy brown golden side. A good masala dosa should excite you in its textures as well. Yes. So by virtue of doing this is creating different layers of textures for you, Ma. Excellent. So you enjoy that dosa. More of that surface area for flavor. Scoops in for the mashed potato, onion mixture, masala potatoes go in. Another sprinkle of ghee goes on. Oh, a little dollop of butter goes on. It's like the final blessing from the dosa maker. <laughs> yes. Now you can leave. <laughs> this is something that they've also developed that has also become legendary status. The arm dosa stack. Watch, watch as he's just gonna stack it all the way up his arm. And it's really an art to do. Look at it's that. It's an art to do this, Mark, Look without at that. getting burned. Yes, imagine hot sizzling ghee, hot oil, just boiling, it could just burn you but he just does it with expertise and just lines it all up. You know, he makes it look easy though. It's a very difficult task. Also, if you look at the way the plates are balanced. Look it's at only that. the tip of the plate that is touching his arm. Oh yeah, no dosa touches the arm. Oh, the crispiness. Yeah. Oh, just sink your fingers into the center of it. Oh, we're moving into the mashed potatoes. Oh, the first bite. <laughs> that is unbelievably crispy in your fingers. Look at all the butter that's dripping down okay. your fingers. And Kripal, probably the first bite, no chutney, right? No just chutney. Just taste the, pure, the pureness is. of it, okay. <laughs> That's a dosi. That's a dosi. <laughs> huh? Wow. That's the crispiest yet fluffiest dosa, and actually dosa as they say here, you will ever have. Everything is melting in your mouth yet crispy at the same time. The ghee, the butter, the mashed potato mixture, the onions in there. That's phenomenal. You know, this is a dosa that <laughs> People plan their day around. When they know they have a remote <laughs> chance of being in this area, they plan everything around this. So it's like, Here. when can we go to Vidyarthi Bhavan, get the dosa, and all the work will happen around it. Your day revolves Your around day. the dosa here. That's right. If you look at how skillfully the dosa is roasted, yeah. so you've got this lovely, darkish, golden brown kind of a crust on the outside. On the inside, it's pristine white. So that again is a skill, the technique. Oh yeah, and yeah. And what that also results in is multiple textures. So the outside is very crisp, but the inside is soft. Yes. Pillowy, yes. almost, when you bite into its <laughs> Yes. yes, it's crunchified yeah. into the 
the fold over technique. Can you imagine? He has to fold it at that right time. A minute yes. longer, it would snap. Yeah, true. It would snap and break apart. Yeah. Dose palya chutney. Dose palya chutney. That's correct. Palya is the potatoes. That crispiness mm. is unbelievable. Mm. That is so savory, so much flavor. Yeah. And truly, the arm to table move is one of the greatest moves of all restaurants. You know, I want you to next have the dose just by itself, without the palya. I just want you to taste the dose by itself. Look at that, that contrast of puffy, bubbly interior to brown, golden exterior. That ghee butter mm. fusion. The butter has seeped into every pore. Mm -hmm. So every mm -hmm. little pore that you bite, you have a tiny salty prick of the butter y yes. that hits your tongue. Mm -hmm. It's like a little capsule. Yeah. A little capsule of butter is released in every little bubble of the dosa. That's right. Almost like a time release. It doesn't hit you all at once, but as you bite down, it squeezes. The butter squeezes it out onto your taste buds. So basically what the dosa master is doing, before he adds the butter, before the ghee and all of that goes in, he's actually preparing the dosa to receive that butter in such fashion that when finally somebody like you eats mark, that butter is released with every bite of that dosa. Therefore, this is a dosa that is exciting from the first bite to the end. Yes. Oh, you want to scoop up a little bit of the mash on the inside. It starts to get sloppier and sloppier as you keep on eating, and you wouldn't want it any other way. I think it's also one of the, the richest, heaviest dosas I've ever had in my life. It's so heavy, so rich. I mean, this is a dosa that can very easily be a meal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like I said, people plan their day around this dosa. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you notice, Mark, if you notice the flavor of the palya, the potatoes, it's very mellow. Mm -hmm. If you notice the chutney, it is not too spicy. Mm -hmm. Basically, the hero here is the dosa. Mm -hmm. So everything else is like a film, right? Uh -huh. So a film has a hero and everyone else is supporting that hero and that's what happens here with this dosa. <laughs> It's a story on your plate. That's right, it is a story on your plate. <laughs> Not just a story, a blockbuster of a story. Yes. Uh. <laughs> mm. I think our enjoyment of food is already quite high. I think no one can accuse us of not appreciating food. But you are amazing. You are a linguist. You're, you describe yeah. food. It's so Magical fun. descriptions. <laughs> I think it's also about the company, so yeah. all those words are because of the dosa and you guys. It's more fun to talk about food with others that appreciate food. That's right, yes. that's right. That's why we like eating together. Yeah. That's right. Watch this. You can take your fingerprint in this dosa. Oh man. This is unlike any other dosa I've ever had, actually. Very different. Even the Mylari dosa, this is totally different. The Mylari dosa, you can probably have six of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and much lighter, yeah. Yeah, but this is, you have one dosa. You, you, you know need you to take a little, yeah. yeah. You will not find a dosa anywhere else that's roasted for seven or eight minutes. Mm. That's slow cook. That's slow cook. So they want it thick, they want it nice and uh, hefty, mm. but they also want it cooked to a nice, lovely, crusty, brown crisp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is success Ooh. at every level. Sugar kami without sugar. Without sugar. So Mark, once you've done tasting the dosa and you've got all that fat, all that butter, all that tuppa, somewhere here you need something hot to push it down. Yes. And that's where a meal here has to finish with a coffee. Oh, okay. So typically the coffee is at the end? At the end. Excellent. Always. Excellent. Yeah. 
Oh, that's so satisfying. It is. So Joel, how's the coffee? Very hot. <laughs> the serving size goes well because it is strong coffee. I appreciate what you said about just needing something hot to push down the delightfully heavy meal. Fantastic. So that was Mark's friend Joel who also snuck onto our table to <laughs> savor that dosa. Huh? <laughs> I did. I did. He couldn't resist. <laughs> That's the earlier of the Vidyarthi Bhavana dosa. The Vidyarthi Bhavan Masal dosa. <laughs> If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe like share and leave a comment below happy eating